Ruby Saidani, Ms. Jack Dawson, Mr. Elmer Trinidad, and his two roses, Ms. Isabel Agapito and Ms. Joanne Gutierrez.
beautiful sisters, Miss Maria Joy de Glau. issue 
between Krasniv Kayanan and Mom Nenet Tamayo. Well, this is how it started. Xavier, Eunice Lagman, and Joshua Adriano were talking about the Pokemon then during math class. Krasniv Kayanan later on joined the group talk. Afterwards, Mom Tamayo saw Xavier and Krasniv talking about the Hyper Beam. The math teacher then said, Hi Gresnib, gusto bang i-hyperbeam kita dyan? As anime lovers know, it is a damage dealing normal time move used in Pokemon. Moving on, you may also recall the time we spent with Mom Annie Publico, whose surname was always Ather Jong, just like Publicano or Gablico, instead of Publico. Well, we will never forget the time when she gave us an assignment about the top 50 dead rivers in the Philippines. Why? It was for the reason that Paolo Candelario completed it, but most of the look people did not have their homework. And through that, he felt pity and shared his answers. But that cooperative work was learned by the science teacher, who later on turned the perfect scars into zero, including Paolo's preparation. Up until now, every time the word river is being talked about in class, Paolo will surely recall his unfortunate homework. That should be perfect but became useless. Ow, oh, sad. Okay, what about the time when Mom Rachel Enriquez became angry because of the funny answer in a particular examination in computer? The question was, what is the meaning of CPU? Instead of central processing unit, the source of being pissed off answer was Chupacabra de Pasaksak University. Do you want to study there someday? Sure. Moving on, the Christmas party would always be memorable to the Luke students back then. My former one Luke Acute classmates, do you still remember the selection in our English subject, which is Midsummer by Manuel Arguila? And there, Manong, Manong and the Ding are the main characters. We even made a specific dance step then, and it was called as the Ading and Manong Dance, which we also used in a certain parlor game last Christmas party 2012. I bet you can still dance the same way we did it when we were still first year students. Okay. What about this? <laughs> Guys, do you know what was the famous hit last third year? I know you know it. Should I give a clue? Okay, it was sung by Bruno Mars. Do you know it now? or how we call them now. Firstly, of course, the name Mona will always be popular. Who is Mona? Is she our classmate? Yeah, of course. Ah, it's Nicole Kalian. Why do you think so? It was because she has fluffy cheeks or simply looks like Mona. Her statements are Danzon, Flagpole, Morgue, Miguelito, and Caboy. Repeat. And after that, to graduation. Uh, well, let us include the ending of our moments, the happiness of JB for Lalas for he will finally. Thank you for being part of our high school life in S3 DPS. It's our pleasure to have you guys. Thank, Thank you and good afternoon. For tonight, we will add more memories for each of us to cherish. Hearing these, their stories from the past made me realize how much they have grown. From a boy to a gentleman, from a young lass to a lady. And this brings us to wonder what they would be in the future. Everybody, how do you see yourselves in the future? What will you be in the next 
seven years, maybe 10, 11, or 12. Now, to stand and make foresight of what our students would be in the future, let us all welcome Ms. Glea Alicia Santos and Ms. Eunice Lagman. It was a perfectly normal evening for everyone. Fathers are seated in their couches, watching the basketball games on TV, with a soft drink in their hands. Mothers, on the other hand, prefer to watch the soap operas of the night. It was also a typical night for a TV news anchor, Carla Talavera. When suddenly, he received a call from the weather department that a big storm is coming. So big that it almost covers the whole of the Pacific Ocean. The storm was said to be 10 times stronger than Super Typhoon Haiyan, which hit the Philippines 30 years ago. Carlo was informed that the storm cannot be stopped and that within seven days, it will hit land and it would be the end for the human race. Wasting no time, Carlo reported the news on live TV. Everybody panicked upon hearing the news. The government held a meeting to prepare for what seems to be the apocalypse. But no hope was found until the famous astrophysicist Kyle Lee de Flor made an important call to the Kylie Lefleur said she has observed a portal that could be used to transport human molecular structure from one planet to another. Villeneuve's plan was good enough to save the world, except for one problem. She is short with manpower and the storm is going to hit land within a week. It's very dangerous and requires special skills to be able to succeed. Nobody wanted to risk their lives going to a storm as big as this one. But three men took the challenge. Aaron Domingo, a well-known seafarer, together with Alan Bercibe and Elmer Trinidad, decided to test their bravery and years of experience in this life-changing situation. They were assisted by the famous Air Force Commander, Jumel Lafria. readily found. They only need one lightning from the storm to fill. They finally got the barrel filled. Jamela and the three brave men met at the dock and Jamela transported the barrel to Greenland where the team is already waiting. Two days before the storm hit land, the dome was finished. The barrel is already transported to Greenland and the engine is running perfectly well. Tests suggest that the success of this project is close to 90%. An hour later, after the final testing, the team is ready to transport humans to the new planet. The International Army, led by Patrick Sunga, in coordination with the Air Force, brought people to Greenland for teleportation. Synergy was successfully transported to the Goldilocks Galaxy in just two minutes. Several batches followed, and all teleportation were a success. Twelve hours later, there are only 20 batches left to be transported. The barrel can still provide enough energy to assure the success of the, teleporta of the tele teleportation of the remaining batches. But once the remaining 20 batches are transported, there won't be enough power source. Ten hours left before the storm hits land. The team put the crystal gem in place and with one last look on their home planet and they were all transported to their new home. They would have to stay there for quite some time. 
they decided to start a new life. Larissa Reyes, Jethro Mendoza, Nick Kidon, Reina Cristobal, and Kyla Macalino built food chains that became the people's source of food. The engineers helped them build Bian Galang, and Tisha Galang became the new prime time queen. Because it was too boring, Morgan Tito Yeah. 
Now that I am handing this to you, the same feelings linger in my mind to that expectation inseparable to us being Johnians. To be wise, to be true, to be just. I, Maria Sophia E. Calderon, hope to be in keeping with your trust in us until the time that you have to pass this priceless legacy to our younger brothers and sisters. Onwards your next endeavor. God's blessing be with you. Indeed, at this very single moment, we are accepting a very precious legacy, the Book of Knowledge. We, the juniors, are reluctant in accepting this tradition as it is coupled with prizes, responsibilities, but we are challenged for the knowledge that it brings, knowledge that will lead us in the right path. We know that it is hard to surpass all the victories and laurels, but we promise to cherish teaching, and that is to be wise, to be true, and to be just. In behalf of the juniors for the school year 2014 to 2015, I, Dana Nicodemus, accept this book of knowledge with pride and dignity. Once again, thank you and good afternoon. Sovereign flame and regions of learning and wisdom, we are proud to present to you Ms. Jamela Gil Frias for the Torch of Learning and her recipient, Ms. Stephanie Albarillo. Alas. The inevitable moment has come. With the culmination of our efforts and endeavors, we the seniors have to leave you, our dear successors. And true to our noble tradition, we now hand to you priceless heritage, the torch of learning. This torch materially is of little value. At the same time, it is not lighted with some mystifying power, nor is it possessed of miraculous beams that can penetrate the great unknown. But symbolically, this torch has lighted our way to greater glory. It's a thorough race which stands for wisdom, truth, and justice have enhanced our confidence in the attainment of our lofty dreams and ideals. In behalf of Class 2013, I, Jamel Gil Frias, hand to you this torch of learning, confident that we are bequeathing it to you, your good and protecting hands. Remember that we managed to maintain the brilliance of its flame during the windy days of our struggle for victories and laurels. Treasure it to the glorious end in the same way that we have guarded it as a priceless heritage. evening we are faced with a challenge at this moment we the juniors would like to stop the hand of time for tonight our predecessors will hand to us a priceless legacy the torch of learning this symbol has always carried out the victories pain and frustrations of our brothers and sisters who have devoted so much of their time and efforts to keep its unwavering flame burning. And tonight, this inheritance will be handed down to us to guard its flame of hope, inspiration, and dreams. For it is the light that will guide us as we treat the life of learning. To my co-juniors, I, Stephanie Alvarillo, accept this torch of learning.
protein responsibility. Being a student is never easy, simply not a piece of cake. His duties and tasks at times are proven to be thorny and obscure. In the light of this, handing over the key of responsibility to a genuine, commendable student will be witnessed tonight. May we call in Ms. Maria Sofia Maldoron and Ms. Marasha Perez. At the time my predecessors handed me this key of responsibility, with their obvious faith in us, we promise to cherish this key as long as it is in our fold. Challenging, isn't it? Since then, I have always wanted to stop the hands of time. I have always wanted to come up with their expectations. Admittedly, I don't even want to think about this moment that I have to hand in my successor the key of responsibility after a year of leading the studentry in every endeavor. But my fear has come to an end inevitably. This key has been so much part of our lives, dreams, hopes and ambitions that in all of our attacks it has served as our inspiration. This key carries with it all those pain, headaches, heartaches, victories, and successes. We really have devoted so much of our time just to make the best for it. We minded not the heat of the sun, the crusty inhibitions, our physical and emotional health, and even compromise our academic standing just to keep up with the service that this key asked for. Even though we don't know if our tireless efforts would be recognized or left unrecognized. Perhaps it really doesn't matter. No elegant praises are needed for our, for our achievements as long as we can face the school officials, our mentor, the whole studentry, and our dearest alma mater with pride, saying, mission accomplished. For the great evaluator up there knows how we have reaped our victory. I, Maria Sophia E. Calderon, hand to you, the juniors, the key of responsibility, the symbol of leadership. To our beloved coordinators, our supportive teachers, to the seniors and to my co juniors, a pleasant evening to all of you. Tonight, I am honored to represent the juniors this school year 2014 to 2015 in accepting the key of responsibility which is bequeathed to us by the seniors on this momentous evening. Tonight, my voice shall be the voice of 135 juniors who are blessed to have reached this stage in our secondary education. I believe that my words and thoughts shall be the same words and thoughts which my batches are eager to impart to everyone. This momentous evening is a sort of ceremony which will be our passage to higher level our path of becoming seniors, thus our passage to adulthood. And this momentous evening is just a celebration of our newfound virtue, 
Tomorrow, we shall be facing new challenges and we need to be armed by a sense of responsibility. In behalf of the juniors, I, Marasha Luis Perez, accept this key of responsibility. He pledged to surpass the great endeavors that you have accomplished. Once again, thank you and good evening. And of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, we thank you for all the blessings that we're about to receive this evening. May each and every student that gathered here today we continuously glorify and praise you. We thank you once again for the meal that you've given us. We pray to you to keep us safe and to make this night memorable to us. This we ask through Christ. Amen. Bless us, O Lord, in this thy gifts, which we are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Special thanks to Oracles Catering for our catering services, lights, and sounds, and to Bernie Sujos for our photo coverage. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached one of the finest parts of the program as we give to their long, intricate, and exasperating weeks in preparing for this fabulous and suave apparel. Before the announcement of the awardees, let me first introduce to you our distinctive panel of judges. A physical plan officer, ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Jem Asipun Salan. Our third judge is a science and health teacher and a fashionista. He is Mr. Paul Nicodemus Alpahora. is a science and health teacher and the advisor of Manga Arts Club, Mr. Mike Angelo C. Our next judge is the moderator of the Center for Integral Evangelization, the religion teacher, and some said a good dancer, Mr. Ruel Paulino. John. 
And Mabibas, I think everyone are getting excited for this award. Okay, so let's begin with the best groom. This is someone who is manly and looks very fine in his suit. Females would definitely turn their heads not only once, not twice, but throughout the evening. The right suit along with its robustness has played harmoniously. While the best dress, just around the corner in every woman's mind, is always lovely dress. A wonderful suit or an entire costume which will make an enchanting new feature of her. The bearer for this for the best dress is able to carry the dress well. The attribution, elegance, and sophistication is right in the eyes of the beholder. And the nominees for the best group are <laughs> From Nye Daniel, John Mark Noco. And for Four Ezekiel, Marjol Sico. And from Four Ezekiel, we have Christian Tarosa. And also for Four Ezekiel, we have Christian Bufa. And from Four Jeremiah, we have Gresmi Kayane. And, and, uh, and for female, we have Four Four Samuel, Regine Kayas. From Four John, we have Erika Lemion. And for John, also, we have Jenny Micah Rapal. From Nine Dania, we have Marisha Perez. And for John, we have Vinice Lagman. And the winner for the best groom is none other than from Nine Dania. The long awaited and talk about day is over. And I bet all the ladies, uh, all the ladies tonight work, uh, woke up early this morning to have their look and style done for this momentous event. The winner for today, and today, tonight, must show freshness of face and appropriate hairstyle. And the nominees for the best in hairstyle are known to be Phase of the Night or For the male category, Rally Gamboa from Nine Isaiah, Nelman Ocampo from Four Matthew, Nine Matthew, Lance 
Santem Santemaya from Ninth Elijah. Adrian Boni Bonifacio from Forza and Jerome Vasquez from Forza. And for our female category, we have Priscilla Alinson of Nine Matthew, Risha Manalo for John. We'll be calling Mr. Ruel Paulino and Ms. Gemma Ponzalan. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. <laughs> this award should be given to the most deserving actress and actor. The supporting role. Okay. The moment we announce your names, basically for our nominees first, please stand in your place to be recognized. And we will, and we have asked our um, the technical mentor to basically focus the spotlight on you. Now, for the nominees for our best supporting actor, Mr. Rally Gamboa from Line Isaiah. Spotlight. Left side, that guy. Another nine I say, uh, please stand, Mr. Piolo Candelaria. <laughs> Next, from nine, Matthew, Mr. Nelman Ocampo. <laughs> there, in Marsala Red. Next, we have from nine, Eliza, Mr. Patrick Pagio. It's actually our Mr. Junior for this JS Prominent. And the award goes to Mr. Rally Gamboa, Nine Isaiah. Please come off the stage. Please for the best part of the from Nai Matthew, Pizel, Alin Sol. From Four John. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, the first nominee from Matthew, Monica Tabo. Daniel, where's the name? She is. Uh, second, 
from Daniel, Maurice Rosario.
Masters of the Year. May we call in Mr. Edgardo Di Choco Jr. and Ms. Raquel Aguilar. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. So one of the highlights of this event is the awarding of Best Actor and Best Actress, also known as the Miss JS and Mr. JS. So for our nominee, sir, for the Mr. JS, this awardee must be an exemplar of character and talent. So who are our nominees, sir? Okay, ma'am. Our nominees of the evening to the tonight, Mr. JS, or our best actor. From Four John, we have Carlo Talavera. From Four Ezekiel, we have Marjan Cesar. From Four John, we have Jerome Vasquez. From Four Samuel, we have Jared Manero. And from Four John, we have Darwin Sambida.
turn it up cause it's getting heavy Wild, wild, west coast These are the girls I love the most I mean the ones, I mean like she's the one Kiss her, touch her, squeeze her bones The girls are great, she drive a jeep And live on the beach I'm okay, I won't play, I love the bay Just like I love LA Then it's beach and Palm Springs Summertime is everything Homeboys banging out All that, all that hanging out Bikinis, bikinis, martinis, no weenies Just the king and the queen Katie, my lady Look at here, baby I'm all up on you Cause you represent California Turn it up, cause it's...